Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking bumps on my motherfucking paint. It's time to wet sand some clear coat. All right, so we're not wet sanding this time. I'm using 320 grit dry sandpaper just to try and knock down all the textures because this is the end all be all for me and I am ready to be done with painting these fenders. Okay, my apologies to anyone if the opening language offended you. But, I'm about at the wit's end, throw some 800 grit in there. What we're doing today is we're going to put a couple more coats of black on the hood. And, uh, you didn't see that I tried thinning the hood with acetone and the paint dried too quick, so it gave me a really bad texture. So now, we got to put quite a few more coats on there. I'm going to do three coats, and then wet sand, and then probably do three more, and as you can see, we're sanding all the high spots down. I tried to fix them just piece by piece, but I didn't want to play along, so they're getting completely removed, or at least down to the first few coats of black, to the point where we can't feel them anymore, then we're going to wet sand the entire fender with 800 grit, and put a couple new coats of black on and I've decided against using clear coat just because clear coat out of a can as you can see right here it's pretty hard to get a consistent look out of it unlike with the black paint it goes on pretty smooth so that's what we're doing today and then we'll uh, hopefully be done with these fenders in the hood and we can start painting something else but uh, Cars and Coffee is less than a week away, so I'm not thinking too optimistically about having it painted for it. But uh, we'll see how far we get. Alright, so I just threw another coat of black on the hood, and you can see the eggshell texture. Maybe. It's not too bad, but uh, it will actually dry smooth. That's the beautiful thing about having it so thin. And, uh... Thinning it with mineral spirits is that it takes long enough to dry that the paint has time to level itself out because it's on a flat surface. So that's another successful coat of black on the hood. We'll probably do one more before we sand it, but you got to wait about 12 hours in between coats at least. So it's a project for another day. Today we got to focus on getting these stupid things done. Fox getting his wet sand on with that 800 grit. And after he knocked everything down nice and smooth. And I dropped the lens cap again. It doesn't want to keep the water where I put it. I just want to throw in a little shout out too to our new subscribers. I don't know what happened, but we got an influx of like 40 new subscribers in the past few days. Um, again, you know, our milestones aren't the hugest milestones, but we just broke 300 subscribers and we now have over 120,000 total channel views. Not a big milestone to other people, but it means a lot to us and we just wanted to say thank you guys very much for all the likes, all the comments, and even all the hatred yeah. because no publicity is bad publicity. So thanks again guys, we're not going to stop posting videos, so if you enjoy it, share it, hit that subscribe button right here somewhere, there it is, right there. Hit the Carlson Brothers thing, that'll take you to a subscribe page and a new tab, or you can hit subscribe at the bottom of this video. Alright, we got the fenders wet sanded, Brock's drying that one off and getting the dust off, here's the other side. We're going to go inside and let them sit for a while, make sure they dry, then probably clean the surface with rubbing alcohol. Which, contrary to popular belief for some reason, is safe to use for prep right before painting. Watch the hood. You. Oh, yeah. So we're going to make sure it dries, and then we'll come back out here in a little bit and start masking Woo! it. Alright kids, don't skimp on your masking, for seriously. Use whatever you can. I did. 
S-K-I-M-P. Look it up. I bet it's not a word. I think it might be. Don't get any paint anywhere you don't <laughs> want it or your life is going to be hell. So, if you have to use paper towels and some green masking tape, you have to use paper towels and some green masking tape. Sometimes that's what it boils down to. Alright, we're going to throw a quick coat of black on it and hopefully everything goes on smooth. Literally. Right, first coat is on. Not sure if there's enough in the can to do another, but this is coat number seven on these fuckers. So, should be about good, I would hope. We're going to wait for it to dry and cross our fingers and hope it doesn't get all fucked up again. Because frankly, I am tired of painting these things. Alright, moment of truth. We locked down the garage so nothing could come inside and get stuck in the paint. Let's see how she came out. We threw another coat of paint on the hood, by the way. So that's three now since the last standing. And we'll let that dry and sand it again. But guys, it is looking like the hell is over. We might actually have a clean couple coats here. So we did two more coats. We did manage to squeeze two coats out of the can. So there's eight coats now on each one of the front fenders. A uh, bunch of wet sanding. I can't even remember grits or how we did it, but this last time Brock helped me sand everything smooth. That was bumpy. And we yellowed it and just threw a couple more coats on and I thought that I wanted some high gloss on there but I've decided that I'm done playing with clear coat so this is as glossy as it's gonna get way glossier than plastic it so I'm calling it a success how about you yeah I'd say it's a success as well all right it's pretty good all right let's take all the masking off I would just like to say to the inventor of tape and drape Whoever you are, you're a genius. I hope you're a billionaire and you're retired because you deserve it. Look at this stuff. This is majestic right here. Alright guys, looks like if you persevere, throw enough fits and swear enough, you actually get something that comes out pretty decent. So, I'm glad we're done with that. And the next step is going to be the doors and of course we got to finish up the hood. We just put the third coat on the hood over since the last sanding period. So uh, we'll come back to that. And uh, we're going to wet sand it and then put a few more coats on. That should be good to go. Next thing to do, though, is going to be the doors. We're going to take the front doors off, do those, and then take the back doors off. And then we're going to figure out how we're going to do the rest of it. I'm leaning towards rolling it just because spraying the roof sucks a lot. But uh, to see what happens, you'll have to subscribe to find out. So... Click right up here somewhere, the Carlson Brothers thing. It'll open a new tab for you to subscribe there. Leave us a comment. Give us a like. And if you want to hit subscribe button down there, you can do that as well. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.